So the next thing we're going to talk about is hypersensitivity type 2 reactions. There are five general mechanisms by which hypersensitivity um, type 2 reactions can affect cells. We're only going to focus on three of them. All of these mechanisms begin with antibody binding to tissue-specific antigens or antigens that have attached to a particular tissue. So the first of the three will be the complement-mediated lysis. And when we talk about this, I want you to think about hemolytic anemia from a mismatch transfusion. So what you have is IgM or IgG, and what it does is it's going to react with an antigen that's on the cell. So IgM or IgG is going to react with antigen. Once it reacts, then you're going to have the activation of the complement cascade, specifically the classic pathway. Once this pathway is activated, then there is a formation of the membrane attack complex C5 through C9 and what's going to happen then is you're going to have cell lysis. So this is the complement mediated lysis. With phagocytosis you have macrophages that have receptors on them and both IgG and C3B are opsonins and what that means is that they enhance phagocytosis so IgG or C3B can bind to the receptor on the macrophage thus enhancing the phagocytosis of the microphage, macrophage. So with the binding of this, you're going to have, with either one, you're going to have an increase in phagocytosis of target cell. And an example of this would be ITP. All right, the last hypersensitivity type 2 reaction we're going to talk about is neutrophil mediated damage. So, what happens with this one is an antigen is deposited onto the tissues, and IgE, or I'm, I'm sorry, IgG, right here is going to bind to these antigens. So IgG will bind to these antigens and what's going to happen is it's going to activate the complement system and ultimately deposit C3B. All right, so now C3B is deposited onto the tissues and neutrophils are very attracted to C3B. So they're going to go up and they're going to bind. So they're going to bind with the C3B. And once that binding occurs, there is going to be a release. So we're going to go here and we're going to say then there's going to be a release of toxic 
granules into the healthy tissue. So these are going to bind and then you're going to have these toxic granules being released into the tissue and these granules are um, reactive oxygen species um, and certain enzymes that are not good for the tissue and an example of this type of damage is Graves disease. Alright guys, so that wraps up hypersensitivity type 2 and we'll move on to the next video for type 3 and 4. Thanks for watching.